Senator Drillon warned of a plot to railroad charter change. He's saying the elec barangay elections will be postponed and held in October para isabay na sa plebiscite. Sir, for Malacanang, do you think there has been um, enough discussion of charter change and the proposed proposal to shift to a federal government for there to be a plebiscite by the end of the year? Number one, I find that comment from Senator Drillon strange because only last Friday, I was in a one forum together with Senate President Pimentel, and he declared an audience of about 4,000 members of the Liga ng Barangay of Leyte that um, the barangay elections will push through. While there is a pending bill in the House filed by um, Congressman Johnny Pimentel no, to suspend a new uh, the barangay elections, Senator Pimentel declared before the audience of 4,000 that there was no support in the Senate for a f another postponement of the barangay elections. That means as far as Congress is concerned, barangay elections will push through. So this will belie already the statement of um, Senator Drillan. I'm just surprised that it's coming from a minority senator. Normally, it's a minority senator that will insist that um, elections will push through, but it was actually Senate President himself who informed the audience to prepare for barangay elections in May. So since um, the first allegation of Senator Drillon was false, I'd rather not comment on the other allegations of Senator Drillon, obviously because they're very speculative.